someone on a recent YouTube comment said, how would you deal with a situation where you have some kind of negative facial aesthetic like balding, young, crooked, big nose, bad acne scars, etc.? Look, if you've been around enough, if you've gone to clubs enough, if you've uh, interacted with enough women, you have seen guys who have all those qualities who still crush it. Like the only way you haven't seen that is if you haven't gone out much is if you are, you know, kind of a recluse and you're not going to clubs, you're not socially outgoing and you just have your own like small friend group, then you might not see that. But I have known guys, there's so many guys who are bald who crush it. First of all, like Dwayne Johnson is bald and he's considered, by the way, let me know guys, uh, this mic is, you know, I, I think I have the settings right, but if it's too loud, overblown, let me know, please. Um, Cause I, I don't want you to hear that. Um, but there are plenty of men who are bald, who are considered sex symbols. So being bald can definitely be attractive. Like, is it a disadvantage? Is it better to have uh, nice hair or whatever? Of course it is. But there's millions of guys who are bald who still have success. Having a long, crooked nose, is it, is it ideal? No. Could you get a nose job and make your nose, you know, I, I tend to think, you know, I've got a nose that I don't really ever complain about. There's, it's not perfect, but my nose is fine. It's not too big, not too small, whatever. Could you get a nose job and it, it would improve your, your facial aesthetics? Sure. Uh, and I, I don't think there's anything totally wrong with that, but thinking that that's going to fix everything is ridiculous. Like it really isn't because ask yourself, the question you need to ask yourself is, have I maximized everything that is under my immediate control and under my longer term control? So first you start with immediate control. Am I approaching a lot of women? Have I gotten professional dating pictures? Have I taken massive action? Like how many girls did I ask out this month? If the answer is zero, you can't blame your nose. You could have a perfect nose. Women aren't going to start asking you out. Women aren't going to start acting like men. Maybe in 20 years, you know, the uh, feminism will go so far that women ask men out as much as men ask women out. Realistically, 95% of the time, women are not going to ask you out, even if you are good looking. I did a boot camp this weekend where I was shocked. All of my clients were well above average looking. Two of them were tall, like significantly tall. One was 6'4", one was uh, 6'2", and the other one, and they were all in good shape. And, you know, a couple of them had like 16 plus inch arms. Actually, three of them had 16 plus inch arms are in very good shape. Uh, none of them had bad fashion. Sometimes when I do boot camp, I'll take the guys to like Zara or something because, you know, if they're wearing like extremely ill fitting clothing or something, they might need that. They're all good looking. And yet they're all struggling right at the beginning of the boot camp. They're all struggling to get results in dating despite that. And being good looking on its own is not enough. Um, most of them had tried dating apps and didn't get results because they thought their pictures were good. And I saw their pictures and they weren't good, right? Their pictures had a lot of room for improvement. That's why I do photo shoots when we do a boot camp, And, you know, that's solved now. But then also they weren't approaching enough. They weren't asking enough women out. And I was someone who in high school, you know, I was considered one of the relatively good looking guys in high school, you know, from what I've heard. And despite that, I didn't even kiss a girl. And in high school, I weighed, you know, I was thin now i'm slightly overweight but i you know i'm right now i'm like dad bod territory but i was in good shape i was regularly told i looked like like leonardo dicaprio and shit like that and yet i didn't even kiss a girl so i didn't have the looks excuse myself and yet i still didn't get any results because my self-esteem was garbage because i didn't believe women liked me for other reasons there's always something but the core crux of the problem is was I putting myself out there? Was I genuinely trying? No. And that's the first thing you have to ask yourself. That's the foundation is, are you genuinely trying? Are you genuinely trying or are you looking for excuses? And yes, I have cold approached in Vegas. Women calling you a player. This is a slight aside, but women calling you a player, good sign ultimately, because it means they think you have swag. Now you do have to calibrate and show genuine interest in them and not come across too much like a... Uh, you can't say anything good on YouTube, but too much like a, you know what I'm saying, uh, F boy. You can't come across too much like that. You have to build some comfort with them, but that's a good sign. 
that means you're doing something right. Because what's worse is if no women are, are seeing you that way, no women are accusing you of being a player, well, then and they're not seeing you sexually, they're friend zoning you, treating you platonically. Well, that means they just don't see you as a sexual option, right? It means they just see you as a friendly, nice guy who doesn't get laid, who they can get validation from. So it's much better to be called a player than not. As far as the, we're talking about this guy left a comment. And I am reading your comments as we go, but this guy left a comment that how would you deal with a situation where you have some kind of negative facial aesthetic, like balding, crooked nose, bad acne scars, etc. cetera, uh, bad acne scars. First of all, there's a lot of treatment you can do for it, which you should, um, something like going bald, like plenty of men who are bald get laid, right? I mean, that's why the genetic, the, the gene, sorry, passes on consistently. Is because there are millions of bald men who get laid, right? Like, it's obviously not the end of the world. Is it ideal to be bald? No. But we try to focus. Our brain is much dumber than we think. And we will focus on the thing that is easiest to make an excuse out of. That is the easiest to tell us that it's not our fault and that we are a victim because it feels better. It soothes our ego. It soothes our lowest emotional caveman brain, right? So we say, oh, it's because I'm too short. It's because my nose. It's because whatever. And the reality is you have to first ask, am I maximizing the things under my control? So do I have really good pictures for the online dating apps? And have I been using the apps optimally? First of all, second of all, or, you know, whatever order, I, I don't think that's necessarily the first thing to start with. But secondly, am I approaching a lot of women and asking them out? Probably for 95, 99% of people who are blame, actually almost 100% of people who are blaming their nose or baldness or whatever, they have done almost no approaches. They've asked almost no women out. Their pictures suck. And they're just, it's so much easier to blame that. Partly it's society's fault for telling you that those things matter more than they do. But it's also partly your fault in that you need to take responsibility and realize there are things under your control that you can improve. So the first ones are taking more action, being proactive, improving your game, improving your online dating. The second one is long-term improving your aesthetics, right? Like I've hired a personal trainer recently to go on a diet and to improve my looks. Now, do I need my looks to be better to be successful with women? No, I, I don't even think it's going to make that much of a difference, but everything you can maximize, you should maximize. Why wouldn't you? right? So you should be maximizing this, these things. You should go to good stores, like, you know, buy decent fashion. You should do research on that, et cetera, et cetera. But the first thing is, are you taking massive action or are you uh, just blaming this, even though all the things under your immediate control, you haven't done anything about them?